Hello everybody, how are you all today? Hey, hey, it's me again. Yes, okay, I look a bit of a mess because today, PJ, look, I've got yet another, another Mickey Mouse PJs. <laughs> yeah, I know yesterday, I did get dressed yesterday, okay, because it was my birthday, but today, I have no idea what day it is. I believe it's Monday and it's the 13th. Unlucky for some. Um, so I have decided <clears throat> to have a PJ day. Oh, I'm all lopsided. So I'm looking a bit awful. So what I might do later on is go and have a bath and a shower. I've got some astral projection bath oil. So what I think I might do later, yeah, I'm going to have an astral projection bath. So I'll have a bath with this oil, lie in there and let myself drift off and have an astral projection. Yeah, well, that's why how I'm living my life at the moment. <laughs> what happened this morning, right? This was not going to be a PJ day. I had great intentions this morning. At nine o'clock this morning, I think it was 9.30, my alarm went off. So I lay there, turned it off, and I thought, right, I'm going to do my morning. Oh, I've got some hair sticking out there. Hmm. Oh, Amanda Trot, I so desperately need your hairdressing skills. Oh, God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yes, so this morning the alarm went off at nine o'clock. Hi, Steve. How are you? And I lay there thinking I'll get up in a minute. And then I thought, right, I do my morning um, protection and, uh, uh, do you know, I can't even think straight. Hang on, let me have a stirp of tea. As you see, I haven't been up for very long and my brain is still dead. Yeah, I was laying in bed at nine o'clock this morning doing my grounding and protection and just lying there going, I'm grounded, I'm safe, I'm protected, all is well in my world, blah, blah, blah. And I went back to sleep. So I must have relaxed myself so much in my meditation and my grounding that I went back to sleep. <laughs> it was quarter past one and my phone was going beep, beep, beep. Someone was texting me, sending me some messages. And uh, it was like, oh, my God, I need to get up. <laughs> so I got up and this is why I decided it's going to be PJ day because I can't be bothered to get dressed just for half a day because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not expecting the Queen to visit. Um, yeah, maybe my spirits and guides might visit later and I might do a meditation to join my dragons because I'm still reading my dragon book. So I might do some dra me <coughs> meditation with my dragons. Stephen, have you done a meditation yet to meet your, your dragon? <laughs> I, uh, I need food because my brain is completely gone, do lolly. Okay, first of all, I want to say a massive big thank you to absolutely everyone. I did go last night for a very quick thank you. I had so many amazing birthday wishes and so many amazing texts, and I went actually um, live with my um, my son and my daughter. Um, I do need to make a correction, <laughs> Stacey. I said I spoke to my son and his girlfriend. Stacey's his fiance. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> that was just a slip of my mouth. Oh, yes, please do. <laughs> I'll talk to you from the window. Woo! <laughs> um, so, a uh, big apology for Stacey. I know you're Henry's fiance and I love you dearly. And uh, you've given me two amazing um, grandchildren, Ollie and, and Logan. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I do call you girlfriend again, it honestly is a slip of the tongue, Stacey. So I'm just going to make it clear and out there that Henry and Stacey are fiancés, not girlfriend, boyfriend. They're due to get married. And I'm so excited. Next year. Hey, hey, hey. God, talk about looking for a hat. Oh, that will be another video on its own. So. What's my special treat today? Well, my special treat, because I've been overeating too much chocolate, I've gone for the healthy one, the walnuts today. <laughs> <coughs> Not the coronavirus, this is asthma. A bit chesty today, so and it's, it's purely asthma, don't worry. So I'm having walnuts today as a healthy option, okay? So that's my um, healthy option. I actually didn't get around to eating my Easter egg. Actually, I've just only had a thought. Bounty, coconut, coconut, fruit. 
healthy option. So maybe I'll, I'll have a bounty bar, which with small nuts. <laughs> Woman's logic there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yes, yeah, so apologies for coming on a little bit late today. Apologies for the um, casual look, but it is... Um, no, it's done, no. Oh, wrong way. My Mickey Mouse. I, as you could probably see, I am the biggest Mickey... One of the biggest Mickey Mouse... I have to drop something. One of the biggie, biggest Disney freaks around. Um, well, I've been to Disney in Florida about five times, I think, six times, I don't know. Uh, I've been to Euro Disney about three times. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, I have got some twiglets. I have, I've got a bag of six of them, Stephen. Um, but um, I might even sneak a bag of that tonight. But I, I still have my twiglets. Oh, yeah, I can't go without my twiglets. Piece of hair. I'm going to get a pair of scissors in a minute and cut it off. That's really bugging me. <laughs> yeah, Disney. I'm one of the biggest work. And so for uh, an early birthday present, my daughter is supposed to be out the Disney Plus channel. Um, we can't get it on the TV at the moment. Um, but um, uh, she's got it on my laptop. So one of the best birthday presents. She, she um, managed to do that for me the other day. And... Uh, and so, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm in seventh heaven at the moment with my Disney Channel. <laughs> Watch all my Disney movies. <laughs> oh dear! Right, card for today. Because as I said, I'm not being able to do any readings for anyone else, so I just thought I'd do it for the collective. Um, little business thing. If anyone does want a reading, we can do it on Zoom, and you can pay me by um PayPal. So. Because if I don't get, oh, there's a card, went flying. Um, if I don't get any business soon, I'm going to have to go back to the visit. Where... Yes, please, Stephen, come in your Mickey Mouse costume. <laughs> we'll be a matching pair. Um, brain dead then. Um, yeah. Card, it fell off. That's why I disappeared. God, I've got to remember to do everything opposite. Guardian Angel. This is to remind us all that we all got our own guardian angels, but we can be guardian angels to everyone else. And the easiest way of being a guardian angel to everyone else at the moment is to stay inside and not mix. And if you do go anywhere, to keep two metres apart, and then you are everyone's guardian angels. OK, so we can all be each other's guardian angels. Um, the other way we can be guardian angels as a human guardian angel if you know anyone who is um on their own message them talk to them facetime them so they don't feel so lonely um as i said yesterday i've been talking to people messaging people in pakistan and india and all all over the place and it's been lovely actually um so you know silver lining out of a dark cloud um so please try and be a human guardian angel the easiest way of being a guardian angel is to be inside. That's the best way. And that's a message to Loz. No other comments made to Loz. <clears throat> OK, um, so stay inside. But your own angels are with you. OK, and it's interesting this has come up because I'm talking to someone at the moment um, on on um, Messenger. Um, and I actually said to her, because she wanted to know how to connect with her spirit guys, guardians, angels spirit guides and i did say well i'm going to uh, send her the link of a uh, meditation from my youtube channel um and it's interesting that the guardian angels has come up um because some days yeah i even i feel where are you angels where are you spirits where are you guys you know this is a load of crap and you know don't believe in it all and then other days it's like oh, i'm really sorry i do believe in you and we all have our misbelief and this is to say that we are all surrounded by our own personal guardian angels whether the it is a an angel uh, well it is you, you all do have your own personal guardian angel um and we've got our own depending on your own thoughts you know we've got our own dragons around us we've got our unicorns we've got our spirit guides we've got our ancestors around us um we've got angels archangels it all depends on on what your feeling is and what your belief system is mine as you know i'm completely mad as Anne calls me mad judy hi Anne. hope you're feeling be beginning to feel better um so yeah we've all got our own belief systems some are more wackier than others but 
personally, I think everyone to themselves and whatever makes you feel happier and comfortable to get through life as it is. Um, don't knock each other. Um, because actually, you may knock me, but you know what, I might be right and you might be totally wrong. But there again, you may be right and I might be totally wrong and I'm talking at me ass, but I don't care. It makes me happy and content. So, guardian angels, please be your human guardian angel by staying inside unless you need to go out for food shop medicines or <clears throat> collecting bottles of wine from your door, from a neighbour's doorstep, Paula. I believe she's going for a walk today. She's going to collect that red bottle of bottle of red wine that I don't like. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, I just had this really stupid thought. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry, but I got, it's too rude to to um, put on here because you never know, kids might be listening, and then I'll get shut down by Facebook. <laughs> Dirty mind. Sorry. <laughs> I clearly need some food. I'll have another mouthful of tea. Look, Disney mug. See, I told you I'm a Disney freak. <laughs> Yesterday, I think it was my grumpy old woman. Today, it's my Disney mug. Yeah. Tomorrow, I might get my Doctor Who, um, uh, tiger, uh, is it a uh, Cyberman mug? I think I might get my Doctor Who mug tomorrow. In my youth, from about aged, about... 16 onwards I used to collect mugs yeah I'm the biggest mug of them all and everywhere I went as a souvenir I would buy mugs um and uh, <laughs> when I was doing my trip around America and Canada my bag was you know I had a suitcase and it was so full of mugs from <laughs> You know, like from Florida and Texas and California and stuff like that. I went to put the suitcase onto, you know, as I was checking out of the, you know, at the airport. I tried to lift my suitcase. It was so freaking heavy. The guy said to me, what the hell have you got in there? Shoes. Because being a young woman of about, what was I, 25? It was about 25, 26 at the time. He goes, oh, you women with shoes. And I went, no, it's mugs. And I couldn't lift my suitcase because it was so full of mugs because every state I went to in America, I bought a mug. And then when I went to uh, Florida, I usually buy mugs. Um, and then when I've been to France and well, you name it, anywhere in this country, I went and bought mugs. Um, when I went to um, theatre shows, I'd buy a mug. <laughs> yeah. So in the end, I had about 500 mugs. <laughs> So then what I had to do was, as some of you know, I moved from um, Bugbrook, Northampton, little tiny village, which I love there. I'm going to do a shout out to all my Bugbrook friends and a special shout out to Tony and Jenny. I'm missing you so much. Well, I'm missing Susan and Nick Nicola as well, but <clears throat> shout outs as people in Bugbrook. Um, when I moved, because I was moving to um, from a four bedroom house down to a two bedroom little house, everything had to go. And we came across the gar in the garage all these big boxes of my mugs, which I'd packed up when I moved from toaster to bug book. So they sat in box because I had no shelving or anywhere to display them in, in, in um, bug book. So I kept them all in the boxes. So when we went to move, my bestie Judy went, shows you don't need them. And pinned them all. Uh, but she went through a few of them and I was around her house before they shut up and I spotted a couple of mugs and I've got other people who've taken some of my mugs. And uh, and then the uh, I did sell all the, because um, I had a whole load of um, coronation mugs and I actually sold those. But yeah, so my mug collection went because I just haven't got anywhere to store them. But um, I did keep keep my Disney ones. There were a few and my Doctor Who one and so there were a few mugs that I kept. Um, <laughs> I've completely gone off the. <laughs> no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> Suddenly gone from my mug to Disney to my. <laughs> I think I need food. <laughs> so I just thought I'd come on. Tell you today, I'm going to eat nuts. I'm just going to actually make. I've got some mushrooms that need using up. So I've got my my um, soup machine. So today's soup is going to be a homemade cream of mushroom soup because I've got some cream in the fridge that needs using up. So I'm just going to go and make, actually I've got some garlic. So I'm going to do garlic mushroom 
um, cream of garlic mushroom soup for my lunch. Um, so I'm going to make that um, today. And uh, yeah, and this ev oh, evening when I watch my film, I haven't decided what film I'm going to watch yet. I'm going through all the rom-coms at the moment. Um, and so my snack today will be my walnuts and a packet of Twiglets as well. Um, the only problem with my Twiglets, Stephen, is that I usually go shopping to Lidl and Lidl's don't do Twiglets. So yeah, I then have to, because Lidl's nice and cheap, food's okay, you know, an onion's an onion, whether you buy it from Lidl or, or, or Waitrose, other shops available, of course. Um, and uh, so the nearest place I can get Twiglets from, multi-packs, is from Tesco's and it costs so much. So um, I don't always get them. Um, so, hi Gemma. <laughs> oh dear. So, what are we doing? Yes. So, <laughs> so my plan today, as I said, it's a PJ day, so it's a relaxing day. So my relaxing day is I'm going to put the soup machine on, and for 20 minutes while that's on, I'm going to do my Farmville game on Facebook, and that's my 20 minutes because I'm spending far too much time wasting time playing games on Facebook um, and then so that that's why that's cooking and then I'm going to be reading my book I'm going to be meditating and I might even get the script out of the book I started writing a book ages ago on dragons and the elements five elements and uh, and and when I moved down to Cardiff it was put away and when I moved back up here to Northampton it was like Oh, look, there's my book. So I might actually get my script out and have another go at that um, because I've got a great opportunity to get writing. Um, so uh, today is Connecting with the Dragons. I'm going to do a meditation. I've just decided what I'm doing. It's surprising what spirits tell you. I'm going to do a meditation with the dragons. I'm going to do a meditation with my guardian angel. Okay. I'm going to send love and light to a certain person called Loz. <clears throat> but I won't go into why. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, eat walnuts, <laughs> eat homemade garlic mushroom soup or cream of, <laughs> and just chill. And uh, I'm going to use my Disney mug. So I'm going to send you all blessings today. Um, love and light. Thank you. Hi, Gemma. Thank you for joining me. And thanks, Stephen. <laughs> and one day, you know what? We'll um, get together on, in our Mickey Mouse stuff. And if you do get bored, Stephen, you want to come and stand at my flat window and I can throw twiglets down at you. <laughs> oh, God, I thought that was really funny. You standing there in your Mickey Mouse costume, me in my Mickey Mouse PJs and throwing twiglets. I've completely flipped. What's this, week four of shutdown? Yeah, I've totally gone. <laughs> And more, you are right. This is Mad Julie. Mad Julie. <laughs> okay, I need calming down, so I'm going to get one of my Reiki teddies. Reiki teddy there. Get some Reiki because I need calming down because I've lost it now. <laughs> it must be my age. Must be my age. <laughs> it's back to my birthday yesterday, so I'm doing it on, on my own in quarantine. <laughs> Oh, God. Love you, Reiki Teddy. Reiki Teddies are still available. Don't know how I get them to you. <laughs> Through the universe, I'll ask my guardian angel to come and get them to you. <laughs> oh, look, the next card down is friendship. I'm loving all your friends. Friendship I'm making. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's another one. To remember, if uh, this is a chance to reconnect with your friends. So, yes, yeah, so if you've got any people you haven't connected with and all your friends, because some of us have got like 200 friends or some of us may only have one or two friends on our Facebook page. Um, some of us have got over 200. So it might be a chance for you to go through your friends list and send them all a hello message and see if you can reconnect with some of them and see what they're up to. You know, let's keep the friendship going. Um, I'm definitely going to be out there on Wednesdays at 8 o'clock, banging, banging my drum, but I'll be talking about that on Wednesday. Thank you very much for joining today. I have, like I said, I think today's Monday. Um, yeah, Monday. Yes, because yesterday was Easter Sunday. Today's Monday, so it's a bank holiday, so enjoy the bank holiday. I've actually got a little bit of blue sky, so I'm going to open my window at the moment. I had it shut because there was someone... 
someone, how dare they make flipping? I'm going to get a pair of scissors in him and I'm going to cut that off. It's really bugging me. Um, <laughs> oh God, Amanda Trot, I need your help dreadfully. <laughs> Amanda is the most amazing hairdresser in the world. Absolutely. Oh, you know, I mean, doesn't help it well it does help that she's my um no i'm not excited um my my sister-in-law married to my um big brother charlie who is amazing um and uh yes and she sorts out my hair and as you can see gray hair is coming on one side gotta remember everything's opposite i'd be no good as a weather girl you know when they do the weather girl and go the, the rain's coming down at scotland and stuff i'd be doing it all the wrong way round. i think they're really clever these weather people yeah i've gone <laughs> Way off, way off piste. <laughs> you know what? I take two antidepressants. Well, I shouldn't say this. I, I, I'm on antidepressants, and I have been for years, and I need to come off them because quite clearly, I'm on too high a dose. Because so <laughs> oh God. Right, I've waffled on for over 20 minutes now. 21 minutes. Oh, 2101. Great numbers. That'd be another video talking about angelic numbers. Actually, I've got a wonderful friend, Susan, who can tell you all about angelic numbers and angels. I think she's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> another sip from my Disney mug. Other mugs are available, of course, including Judy. <laughs> Biggest mug around. So, um... That's it today. I'm just going to go make my um, garlic mushroom soup and uh, and have uh, walnuts for pudding. And <laughs> I was so sad. I need to get out more. No, 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 not at the moment. Do not need to get out. Do not need to get out. So I'm going to send you love and light and peace and, and blessings. Blessings from your guardian angels today. Please keep safe and uh, keep well and keep home inside if you do need to go out keep your two meters distance god i sound like a flipping government video here another message from the government on the telly <laughs> we will control you <laughs> quite clearly i need a lie down so i'm going to finish now love you all everyone thank you for joining me Gemma and Stephen, and everyone else um, catch you, some of you on a replay. Um, anyone whose names I've mentioned, I will um, tag you down down on the bit below when I um, put this stupid video, one of the worst ever I've done. Um, I will be going live tonight at about 7 p.m. ish with Healing Hand Services. So that'd be about seven o'clock tonight, Healing Hand Services. Um, and then tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, Reiki Teddy Tuesday at about six o'clock, I'll be going live again then. Um, so yeah that's it over and out love you all stay safe love you all dearly and uh, remember to be a guardian angel to yourself and to everyone and reconnect with your friends love you bye and I'm look completely gormous as i where's my end oh it's over there end live video bye love you angel blessings <laughs>